y'all today? I am here with some Miracle Tuesday making recipes on the fly with what I have. And first of all, this is a recipe that's going to come to you tomorrow and it's going to be some cauliflower chia crunch crackers that will have a nacho flavored Dorito existence. But here's what it looks like. It's getting ready. See, it's all liquidy and getting kind of ge gelatin-like, and I will be putting that in the dehydrator. I'm not going to give you the measurements yet because I might have to tweak that a bit, you know. But I will tell you this, which is I've got nothing done today. This is a little sauce I made earlier. You see it? It's kind of messy because it went over the edge, but look. It's really tasty. I'll show you how thick it is. This would be a really good um, sauce over zoodles. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what it tastes like. It's called sweet chili sauce, I think is what I called it. Yes, it has two um, regular sweet banana peppers. And just take out the, the seeds. And that mine were pretty large. It has a half tablespoon of chili powder, one whole lemon just peeled. I picked the seeds out, and it has four tablespoons of hemp seeds, which equal about 200 calories. It has one large tomato that was about this size, and I always call these fat boys because they're the juicy ones, you know, because that's where you're going to get your moisture in your blend. All you're going to do is blend that up in your high-speed mixer, and it'll probably work in a regular blender on this occasion, and um, there you have it. It is a sweet and spicy sauce. It could go, it could also do, um, double as a dressing, too, so... Um, that is a really good one. Y'all want to try that. Just a quick little recipe. I have found that when you have all your fresh ingredients and you just throw them together in correct combinations, it comes out with a win. You know, you've, especially in sauces and dips for the nighttime, you've got your fat, you've got your sweet, you've got your salty, and you've got your um, acid in there. You know, in that case, for the salty, I just didn't really, you know, those fat boy tomatoes are fairly salty. Really, I like the heirloom best, but that gives it that sort of flavor to me, so I really didn't add anything. But you could put a celery if you want a little more salt. You could also put a little bit of dulse flakes with cayenne. Um, they have those, I forget the brand, but um, they're relatively cheap and it doesn't take much, and it's a good way to get off the salt if you're having that problem. But I want to talk to you about the feeling of fall and really the feeling of all seasons and how you're going to feel different when you change over on your diet and lifestyle or frankly when you start to stick to the choices you've been trying to do for the last decade you know what I'm saying or when you get up to your next level each season feels different with new health you know just like in the summer um, it could be a hundred and five around here in total humidity and I'm fine and other people are absolutely drenched with stinking sweat. I don't even smell when I perspire. It is a difference in vibrant health that your body sort of regulates the temperature. You know, it just doesn't bother me like that. I can enjoy the heat, you know. Um, isn't it funny how people are constantly seeking out the next deodorant or seeking out something that's supposed to last like, I don't know, 48 hours? First of all, who does not shower in between deodorizing their self like that? That's what I want to know. But second, what if people just had a more clean diet? I was reading something the other day, and, and someone was saying they drank a gallon of milk a day. And I, I could only imagine the smell and the mucus coming off of that person. You shouldn't be grossed out by the thought of that, but it was gross because... Dairy causes mucus, and it causes a stench, you know? But when we don't eat those things that aren't, aren't really for human consumption anyway, we don't have that problem. We have a, you know, the more raw food you eat, you have a certain a smell that comes off of you. It's sort of a pheromone, you know, that kind of attracts other people to you. It's very interesting. 
But you know, and then, then the fall comes. Summer's gone and the fall starts to come and it starts to be the crisp weather. And you know, you just feel different when you touch things and you, it's just, a, I can't explain it to you all. And some people try to say, well, why do I even want to attempt to eat more raw? Why can't I just eat rice? You can do whatever you want to, but I try to explain and put it into words the difference you're going to feel when you include more raw in your diet, you know? You're going to be able to pick up on things with your different sensory experience, you know? When you're, when you're outside and maybe you're walking through the leaves or you... You still have your flip-flops on, though it's too cold to really have them on. And you have your sweater kind of hanging over your hand, and you're sort of grabbing it up. And you're just, it's breathing in that pure air. And you have other things going on than what's going to fill you up and you, you down. You're not as concerned about that, you know. You're concerned about the sights and the sounds. And it could be the same road you pass down every day but all of a sudden you notice the new vibrancy of things it's just that you're seeing things through different rose colored glasses you know um i mean you'll have the warm pumpkin soup and you'll have the warm lemon ginger tonics and you'll have some chia crackers dipped in your soups and there's just a lot of ways to still have that comfort feeling of food with it, not having to make you into a doped up drone. You know, Thanksgiving will come this year, and instead of coming to your gathering like, um, well, you know, I guess I just won't be able to have whatever, you know, woe is me. No, instead you will feel like focusing on something different because you have additional brain power because all your internal vital force is not going to digesting the sludge that lives there, you know. You can think about, well, let me make this coconut caramel dip that's all raw and all natural and, and all wholesome goodness and have these apples and prove I'm back. My new iPhone update had cut me off yet again. So anyway, you will come to your Thanksgiving get together as a new person, you know, bringing the vibrancy with you that will make people want to try out whatever the heck you're doing that's caused you to become this new, better version of yourself, you know. Just like these crackers right here I'm going to make for y'all later. It is something that everyone would like. You can use that as a crust. You can use it as crackers for dipping. All kinds of things. You can use it as more like a crouton crunch on the top of a salad. But you know, and you're going to come to the Thanksgiving feast and you're going to feel like focusing on something else besides just food. When everyone else is eating their roasted beast and having to take a nap and then wake up and have their turkey sandwich on Wonder Bread with extra mayo. Instead, you're going to feel like going outside and tossing the football, and you're going to feel like playing with the kids, and you're going to feel like a child, you know? You're going to have that energy and zest for life, and other people are going to wonder where you got that, and they're going to start to ask you. So bring things with you that are, that are your favorites, and bring your pumpkin sp spicy pumpkin soup or butternut squash, and carve out the butternut the acorn squash, and put it in there. Bring that and display it. You know, make it beautiful so people will want to gravitate to that. And then if they don't, that's more for you, right? I mean, just like when we go, do you go to this Black Friday shopping? My mother loves to go to this, and I really don't need anything. But I will go, and we will get there at 4 o'clock in the morning. It's ridiculous. I will not be tired. I won't be trampled. I won't be having to cuss at people. No one will faze me because I feel good enough to deal with that, you know? I can shop all day until we drop and come home and get ready to do the next thing. It is just your everyday life will become different, you know. The ordinary will become extraordinary is what I'm saying. Are y'all picking up what I'm laying down? And then, you know, Christmas will come. And the same thing, you're going to have these raw treats. And you can make these raw, um, I don't know, 
all kinds of treats. I'm going to bring you all those things. I, you know, the more simplistic I eat, the better. Basically, I go with fruit and greens all through the day, whether it's smoothies or just wrapped up, the mangoes wrapped up in lettuce. I have some chia seeds through the day to kind of give me a little more stability. I have a gallon of water through the day. I might have some lemon ginger tonics or some detox teas to warm me up. Later on, I'll have some fruit, getting the majority of my calories from fruit. Then at night is when I really kick up the vegetables. That's when I add in the overt fat. Always healthy fat, rarely from nuts. Um, rarely from nut butter. Making dressings that I don't think anyone would have to look further than wanting those, you know? Making things that taste like pimented cheese and mock hummus and all these things and serving them on a crispy cracker. What more could we want? Oh yeah, later on I might have some banana ice cream or some orange sherbet push-up ice cream that I make or all kinds of things. I could have my caramel sauce with apples. I could have another treat. I can eat until my heart's content on this food, you know? Always maintaining my weight, always keeping down toxins in my system, keeping my immune system recharged and high so I beat down all these viruses that everyone else picks up. You know, so then Christmas will come, and you're going to start to think different, you know. You're going to start to think, well, do I have to be beaten down into this conformity of spending money I don't have, buying the things I don't even want or people need, and returning them? Or am I going to take a holiday somewhere else just in, I don't know, nature? You will start to think different and think on your own because your vital force will be there, you know, and not dull down. A life of abundance, you know. Staying full and energized on this lifestyle. And the main thing is the ability to think for once and for all, you know. When we have been living in the fog. If you are thinking clearly, can y'all say hey down in the comments? Because sometimes it becomes a lonely world dancing on my own, you know. Just one lonely raw girl in a big world. <laughs> But that's okay. So, um, anyway, y'all try this dip, which is very tasty. You saw it. It's kind of chunky. I'm going to have that over something later. And then we will come to y'all with these cauliflower chia crackers. How's that sound? Oh, you you got to believe in miracles, you know?